hi guys, welcome back. Um, so today I am halfway through doing these cupboards, but because the weather is relatively dry and I need to cut stuff outside, I'm going to make a start on the door cards for the rear doors and the side door. Um, uh, when we bought the van it was ply lined um, and you could keep those as templates if you wanted to, however ours weren't as neatly fitted as I'd like so I'm just going to start again. So um, I've been out and I've bought some 6mm ply, um, exterior grade, just some cheap stuff because we're going to paint it all up. Um, I don't think we're going to need to go any heavier than that or step up to 9 it's just going to be too heavy for what it is, it's not going to be really bearing any load. Um, and if it is, I can always put battens behind it. Um, so yeah, I've got three sheets of that, so I'm literally going to just film the process from start to finish, how I get them to the rough size that they're going to need, and then I'll just, well, you'll see. Right, so the first thing I'm going to want to do is I've took, already taken off um, this piece, it's just a little bracket that the door catch sticks on, because I know it's going to be in my way for line up the ply, um, and I'll need to remove this handle. Uh, just so they're out of the way, so I can get the basic uh, thing cut and then I can cut around them afterwards. Right, so it looks like that handle um, is kind of one solid unit, so I was hoping I could take it off, take it apart, fit the ply and then fit it back over the top, but I don't think that's going to be an option, so... I don't know what I'm going to do, I'll figure something out as we go along. We'll see. But I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to cut it in half so that I can take out half uh, the notch for the door handle and then the same at the bottom. Uh, it shouldn't really matter because where they join I can I can tidy that up or I can cover it and the bed's going to be there anyway. It's just annoying but yeah so be, I'll be doing that one in, in two halves. Uh, the postman has decided to park right where I want to be, so I'm just going to wait for him to come back, really. Right, well, it's been 45 minutes and the postman just hasn't returned, so he's either been eaten by a dog or he's having a cup of tea somewhere, so I'm going to have to try and move the van because I can't just wait around for him forever. So there we go, I'm just going to roll this forward. I've got about a foot, I think. Right, hopefully that'll give us enough room to get a sheet of ply up there. If he gets dust in his van, well, it's, to be honest, it's a shit heap anyway, so... Um, so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get it roughly over and then I can just scribe it from the outside to the exact shape I want for the outside profile and then I'll worry about the other bits afterwards. Right, so that, um, that gets me close enough and then I'll show you uh, why I'm doing it like that and then I'll probably have to wait for Emily to come and help me which she's gone shopping so that could be who knows when that could be right so this is it from the inside this bit's all going to be uh, cut off anyway because it's too wide at the minute for what I need and then it kind of just is roughly sitting in and then I know that what I'll be able to do from the outside I know that my door sits I want my ply to finish nice and tight-ish with this seal. Uh, so when Emily gets back, I'll get her to hold that up against it in the right place, and then I can just draw a pencil line round, um, 
probably cut out a little notch for this make sure I've got a bit of clearance at the bottom um, and then I should be able to roughly screw it to the door in place and then uh, work out what I need to cut off down here uh, to get the right width Right, so that's it roughly in place and then that just gives me uh, an easy way of getting the shape. So I've literally just uh, run my pencil line a few mil away from the edge of the seal because I know that when I shut the door, that's where I want my, my ply to finish. So I'll cut that, then I can get it roughly in position, then I can cut the width and cut out any little bits and divots that I need to do. Right, so I've cut out the curve where I drew that pencil line. Um, held it back in place and I just take out a little little notch in the corner and the little notch there for I've got a little bit of seal there in the way and this plate um, I've held it back in it looks good but I can't get it screwed to the door yet because obviously this is in the way so I'm now going to cut it in half so I've shut the door measured my height to where I want it to meet which is about there because that gives me a enough space to screw both of those in um, so I've marked that out and I'm just going to cut it in half then I can start holding them up and notching out for the door handle and then I can get them roughly screwed in just to make sure there's going to be no issues opening and closing the door before I get any further. Right, so this is where we're at. Um, cut it in half so it's ready to go on and then I literally just held it up above this so it sat there which would give me a mark for that and then I just measured the height off the floor to work out exactly what I needed to take off that way. It was about 47 mil, I think. Um, but it depends, obviously, where you're putting your, your join for your two, if you're going to do it that way. Uh, so I've just trimmed out, uh, notched out a piece there to avoid this, just so I can get it temporarily screwed on flush, so that I can come round this side, and I can mark out now a nice line along the edge of the door. Um, I can take this off, cut that, I'll probably cut it just a couple of mil over um, and then that's, that, that should be that one done and then I can start lining up the, uh, the bottom one Right, so um, that's that one on, uh, I've just got a couple of holding screws in it for a minute um, so yeah, i just follow that line down the edge and then what I'll probably do on this door is because this door needs to close first, I need the clearance there so I'll probably sit this one slightly over just to minimize the the gap that I've got there uh, but I've got the bottom piece kind of already cut because it's obviously what I cut off the bottom of that so I'm going to grab that I need to mark out again for the uh, for the door handle so yeah I'll get that bit hopefully get that bit screwed on now and then obviously it's all got to come back off and be insulated and, and fit properly anyway so here we go Right, so that's the basics of the first one in. Um, obviously it needs more screws and whatnot to hold it in place, but I haven't decided how I'm going to finish it yet and I've still got to insulate it. And I'm not 100% sure of how I'm going to fix it because we've managed to avoid any kind of thermal bridging uh, by fixing battens to the van and then fixing everything else to those battens. Um, but if I put battens on the back door, I'm going to need them to be at least, I don't know, 20 mil thick to get a decent screw in, maybe, maybe get away with 15, but it's going to bring all the door out and I just don't know if I'm going to like it so I might have a, a look because I ideally want to screw it straight to the door itself but yeah I'll have a think about that and then and then see but yeah hopefully I'll be able to use that one as a template for the other one but you can bet your life there'll be 
something slightly different. Right, it's a whole new day. Um, I've got the other side cut. Um, I did that last night, it's pretty dark, so I didn't bother filming it, but basically I just repeated the process. Um, obviously, the problem I've got on this side is that window. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to frame it out um, like I've done uh, this one. If I move over here, actually, it might. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, I want to put a, a frame like that around that one. Um, so what I've done is once I've got the uh, once I got it cut, uh, the window sits far back enough that I could screw it in place. I opened up the the window, and then from the outside of the van, I could put a pencil line of the inside square of the window, and then I could use that as a guide to work out exactly where I needed to cut for my frame after I've made my frame up so um, I won't go into too much detail about how I've made the frame because I'm going to do a whole separate video on framing out this window um, but basically we'll end up with something like this uh, and that does fit into So yeah, that fits into there, um, obviously quite snug. Um, and then to fix it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix some battens to it. I'll just show you. Uh, so I've cut some some battens, and then what I'll do is I'll fix these uh, to the window where I know the ply is going to finish. Um, so I'll fix them from this side into there, so you're not seeing any screws from there. And then I can fix the ply into that band there um, so I've got I've got one on all four sides uh, so that's the plan and then once it's all one unit it'll have to go back in as a whole uh, so hopefully it'll all line up well enough to go on I think it will um, so yeah I'm gonna crack on and do that um, I'll paint the, the backs of those door cards so that they're protected I'll get it all insulated uh, again, I'm not going to film any of that because we've done a couple of videos on insulation now, so I'll stick a link in the description uh, if you want to see how we've insulated it. Um, but yeah, basically, so I'm going to crack on and do that, and then um, yeah, and then go from there. Really, Let's see how we get on. Right, so basically, um, I've got that button there, what's the front? So that's the front of the window, so that ply comes down flush on there and then I should be able to get some fixings along there. So I'm going to fit it all together, uh, dry fit it, and then I'll take this back off because this is going to be oiled up brown. Um, yeah, paint the backs of those and then work out what finish I'm going to do on the, the front. do actually is mark up where these battens are from the front so that I know to screw in the right place. Right, it's not that easy but um, it'll work. So. Now I know I'm going to fix uh, the ply to the batten behind. Um, I've got a couple of little bits I need to cut out for, so I need to put the door handle back on, so I'll mark up for that. Now I know it's only exactly where I want it. Uh, so I'll cut all those bits out, and then like I say, it'll go away for painting. Right, so let me just show you that now it's finished. Um, basically this is it as one whole unit. Uh, so there's the frame in, uh, and then fixed from the back. You can see there's that batten that is screwed into the into the window frame and then it's screwed in from here. Now what I'll do is when we finish it I'll fill those holes, uh, those screw holes and it can just stay as one whole solid thing. Um, 
So yeah, I've just got a couple of bits to cut out. I need to cut out here somewhere for the door handle uh, and a couple of bits at the bottom. So I'm gonna cut those out, get it back in one final time, make sure everything's okay, and then it can go off for finishing. Right, so that's them both in. So I'll show you what I've ended up with. Um, so as you can see, it comes up quite nicely against the the seal there, but doesn't interfere with the door opening, closing, or how the seal works. And then uh, around the top there, um, we've got a little bit of a gap here. Now in our old van, we did get a bit of a draft through that gap, so I might ask Emily if she can make us some sort of draft excluder. Um, but yeah, there's the the window frame um, and then it just follows around and then at the bottom just a few bits that I've had to cut out for there um, yeah so all in all not too bad a little bit awkward a little bit fiddly in places uh, and again it's not always easy on your own because you're trying to hold it in place and mark things out but if you can get a second pair of hands that helps right so that's the door cards fit it well at least cut and and in place and ready for finishing. Um, I'll probably, I think what I'm going to do to, to fix them, at the minute I've just got a couple of temporary screws holding it in. Um, I'm not going to batten the door and then screw to that. I think what I'm going to do is once I've insulated, um, I will s fit to the back of the actual door cold, maybe maybe some like uh, some of that close cell foam, but just you know a few mil thick. Um, the reason I'm going to do that is so that when I screw the ply to the door, it just takes out any potential rattles that I might get from the ply. Um, but it also, it might act as a little firm break between the cold metal of the door and the actual plywood itself. We will see. And then for the screws, I shall get some like plastic screw cups, you know, them enclosed ones with a little flip on lid. And I'll screw them in that way. And I'm just hoping that the plastic is enough to just um, limit any thermal bridging between the screw and the cold metal. Um, but it's going to be a little while now before I get back onto that, so we'll finish this video there. That's how I'm going to do it. Um, but yeah, they're, they're good to go, so I, you can finish them however you want. So the easiest option would obviously be to carpet them, uh, which would be my preferred option. However, we're going to have a rear shower out the back, uh, so with the steam from the shower. No, we're not going to use it that often, but carpet's just not really going to be ideal. Um, so what I'll probably do is I will route out uh, maybe a little v-groove uh, lines all the way across uh, to match the cladding that we've got on the walls um, and then paint them up white it might stain the brown ones at the top to to follow this you know come down halfway with them or so far away with the brown um, so I don't know but yeah if in an ideal world I'd carpet them um, but yeah so that's basically how you do it you can finish them how you want um, yeah, if you want to see any of the other stuff we've talked about, the insulation or the windows, um, I'll put the insulation's already on, so I'll put the link in the description, and the windows hopefully will come soon. Um, but yeah, but um, thanks again for watching. Um, please uh, like and subscribe. Um, we need all the help we can get, and I'll, uh, I'll see you next time.